Yeah, okay. Go ahead, buddy. I'm asking Warrior fans what's at stake tonight. Right, And right. the one thing I was thinking about this game is we're finally, finally going to get a realistic assessment of this team wow. in the next week. That's what I'm most looking forward to. You think they're a championship team? Well, they got to win their next two games to even prove that to you. Mm. You think they're not even a 46-win team? That may get proven this week. But the one thing that I do think, if you want to talk about the, the what's at stake tonight, here, here's the one thing I was thinking. If you get beat tonight, okay, and let's say Steph has a mediocre game, you go up to sack and they beat you and Steph goes, you know, nine for 23. You think, you think that's, that's not going to be something that's got to be taken into consideration in the offseason? Like, that's the other thing to me that's at stake. If, if Steph, let's say, struggles this week in the play-in games and you lose one of them, don't you have to go into the offseason thinking, you know what, the level that Steph played at this past year he might not reach again. I totally get okay. that. So if 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 that happens and you get beat tonight, the results. I'm not. And obviously, Steph's yeah. not going to no go doubt. anywhere. But what about of all the things we talk? I was Clay coming back. What about Draymond? But what if you? What if after tonight's game, you say he can't do what he's done for us for the last ten years? anymore. The, He's okay. still a great player. A great player. But he didn't have a great second half of the season, so are we, are we really going to come into next year thinking that Steph is going to be as good or better? Or do you have to start thinking about that? I think you... There, there's a lot at play here, Stani. First, I believe... Just because the financial restraints, and there are some, this is not like a team that's under the cap and they go into the offseason and fans know, hey, you could throw money at all your problems and we're going to have fun and we're going to buckle up. If you do think that way about Steph Curry as an organization, the reason I say your hands are kind of tied, Steiny, is you might not be able to financially do what you think you need to do to, to bridge that gap. I personally don't think Curry's fallen off. I just don't. I, I, I've i met you halfway. I will not argue the numbers okay. in regard to the second half. Okay. I expect a big game tonight. But I guess what I'm saying, partner, is Steph Curry's slippage, if we want to call it that in the offseason, and I know we're saving this for later, that's not my number one priority because I don't think it's that that big. I do. Because because. When your superstar of superstars begins to decline, that is more than a role player decline. Like you have oh. to make up for that. Like you and and I. So you think that what, you're on? That's what we're seeing. That you. So you're there already. If if you get beat, I'm where already. The Steph, you you got. Yes. There's a buffer. He needs some. Of course. Well, there's nothing wrong with a superstar needing help. With with what's around him, but Stani, I feel like you got Steph in the wheelchair already, and he's not. No, but I have Steph healthy for the entire season, and we're a ten seed. Like that's to me that has to be sobering. If you're a Warrior fan, now if you want, and that's that's exactly what I'm getting at. If you're saying, well, Draymond, right, fine, then you have Steph, and he still can be the best player on a fifty win team, but. Either he's got to get more help, or you have to start come to the coming to the realization that you have to fill in around him better because he's not the player he was. I, I, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Well, there is if you if you're under this crazy illusion that he can lead you to a title like he did two years ago when he missed the last fifteen games of the year, like. Is anybody else, you know, interested to see if they can even get to the playoffs? How Steph and Clay perform, knowing that they've played a full season each, like that to me is like really important. The other thing is, 
okay, and I'll say it. Are you really going to, because I, again, I don't know the answers. I'm just, there's just a million questions. That's why I think goo is, no, I the got topic's you. incredible. I got you. But you're telling me, here's the other thing. Like, I don't know what to believe, but you're telling me you get beat tonight in sack? You get beat tonight in Sacramento, and you're going to re-sign Clay and come back next year with essentially the same team saying, well, we're going to be better because Draymond, like, no, I, I that, that that to me would be. Like, I guess what I'm. No, that Scotty, would be the I craziest thing. No, of and all if time. Joe Laker wanted to, to just ramsack a room because he's so upset that they lost said game, I totally get that. My thing is, and we're we're not privy to it. You could want to do all kind of stuff, Stani, but what's realistic that was going to make you better? That's all. So I'll just be at a. I'm, I got my popcorn ready. You could want to do so many things, but what's the reality of you being able to really get that impactful player to replace player A or C if you want to? That's why I'm. That's why it's scary. You could want to do all kind of things, but what can you really get done with with what you have? You know, it's it's going to be wild, like it already is. Just the thought of it. But I guess I'm telling you, Stiney, Hey, Goo, the cars. Not running as good as it's been, I'm not. I'm not ready to say Steph Curry, which is the engine, is is where I start with. You know, I still think the engine's in good shape. You know, I, mean, I need a better tranny. I, you know, I need a well. Give me something else off the car, Stani. Uh, um, oh boy, Norm. Hope Norman. Well, I mean, yeah. cars used to be able to go 200 miles an hour. What if he could only go 175? Alternator, now? yeah. Well, well, then you don't win the race. Then you finish fourth. And I don't know if that's good enough for the Warriors. Uh, Travis Irby uh, on the YouTube chat says, LOL, Steiny, this game isn't going determined to determine anything for the Dubs. And that's kind of what I'm asking. I don't know if it's going to determine a lot, a little, or something in between. But Travis says, I promise you, Steiny. And this is where I lean. Uh... Joe Lacob knows this wasn't a championship team, and that's not changing at this point. Wow. That's all that matters. And what have you been consistent, or we have as a show, <coughs> oh boy, and as a station, they might be right. They might we be. We don't know. Uh, Leo's on 880. What's up, Leo? How you doing, man? You want to talk about the Warriors' future? You know, there's one trade that kind of makes sense for everybody, and it's Oklahoma City has 37 first and seven, second round draft picks in the next six years. If if Steph, you know, goes to OKC, we trade him for those draft picks. He gets a chance to chase two or three more titles. OKC automatically becomes the best team in the NBA, which they might and be we now. Can rebuild around Kaminga. You know, it feels like when we traded Monte Ellis, like we had an OK team, but we weren't going anywhere for Bogut. And it just feels like this is one of those moments where, you know, you, if if you want to be the best, you got to do something a little radical. But that that would be one of those win win trades for both teams. Well, who was it again? A uh, Clay for who? Who the somebody of some picks for who the Warriors end up getting in this trade? I didn't I didn't hear that. He was more of uh, the picks. Uh, five one zero. If Sack wins this game, time to move on. Father time Fuck, undefeated. Man. Let eleven walk. Time to you know, let eleven walk. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm really good feeling good about this one, Stanley. No fake bravado. Next I question. Don't, I don't believe you. See now, if you're doing that for the show with content, no, I, I don't. Get, which I, you never do. We never. No, do. because I've seen you before the show. But I, for two weeks, I've been yelling "Kings, King!" like a crackhead. Kings, Kings, right. and right. I'm, and we got him. Yeah, but you're still worried. Well, of course. You could be favored by 21 and still be worried that the yeah. worst could happen. But, yeah. No, I, uh, Warriors would be in their traditional blue. Sack will be in their white uniforms. I know you wanted to know. I did want to know. 888-957-9570 is the number. Warriors Kings tonight. Man. Why don't you guys tell me how you think this game's playing out tonight? Steph going to be the best player on the floor? See, that's that's one reason why I give the edge to the Warriors is because I don't think the Kings can win unless De'Aaron Fox is excellent. I think the Warriors can win even if Steph wow. is so-so. I think that's 
that's like a margin of error thing. That's for when me. you're the better team, too. So, who's the better team? No, I said that's when you're the better team. When you're a star uh, player, you can win, and you know, and Sack can't do that if Fox is not getting off. Eight eight eight, ridiculous. Curry makes this team millions. Who? Oh, well, actually, billions. But whoa, whoa. Nobody said Steph's going anywhere. Yeah. Chill out. Yeah, chill out. It's more about the realization, possibly, that five years ago you could field a certain team around Steph, and it's a championship team. And if you put a team around Steph now, it might not be a championship team because of his slippage or just age or just the fact that he's been in the league 15 years. Like, is... Like, when is Steph not going to be the best player on the Warriors? I'll let you know. Okay. But there's no way it's even close right now. I, I agree. Nor does it need to be. I agree. Yeah. But but, no, that, but I, that's I, the I, kind of thing. When this when this season ends, if it ends uh, in the next week or two, like, how do you realistically look at this team? You look at it as a 10 seed or you look at it as a 50-win team if Draymond doesn't get suspended? If you look at it as a 50-plus win team, don't make any moves. If you look at it as a 10th seed, rip it down. And that's what, to me, is fascinating, is that we're really talking about two or three games here where you're telling me, not you, but you're saying if the Warriors win a couple games and get to the playoffs, there might not be anything to see here. But if they go up to sack and just get upset because somebody has an unbelievable game, Lonnie then Walker everything changes. <laughs> so, Anton. 